All right, so we finally finished the fireplace. New shelves, cabinets, the counter top is in. We have to make these shelves here. The, the stone over here, install the TV, the fireplace, and shelves on both sides. Looks really nice. All right, guys. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna be um, putting cement board on this fireplace. We already have it framed out. The electrical is complete. This is where the fireplace is gonna be installed. This is for the TV mount. And this is the cement board and the door rack screw for wonder board. All right, let's get started. All right, so we just finished the cement board. Next step is the, um, for the matching and... All right, so we're about to install the fiber meshing and all the joints to strengthen it, the sides, and put some tin set on all over the joints. All right, so finish with the thin set. We'll leave that to dry, and then we're gonna start filing. Another day. All right, so the cabinet is going in right now. This piece is gonna go over there. This cabinet is being installed right here. So we're gonna have a countertop over here with some shelves, two or three shelves on, on over there. And then I'm gonna start installing the stock stone on the wall right here. So we have to build it up with this two by six, give it some height. You can see right there, right? So after this is finished, then I'll start installing the stack stone. And this is the stack stone right here. All right, so we have the cabinets installed here, molding, wrapping around. And we have one shelf here already built, so I'm gonna show you how we build a shelf. And it's gonna get three shelves, one here, two, three. And on this side, we're gonna have three more shelves. So we're gonna do that now, show you how we build the shelves. And install them. 
And then after the shelves, then we're gonna do the stack stone. All right, so we have half inch plywood here. So we're gonna rip them down to size like this, 12 foot each. And then show you how we build the shelves. So we're gonna start ripping the plywood now. So you're setting the, um, the gauge to 11 and a half right there. So now we're gonna rip the width. All right, so we got everything ripped here. So the shelf is gonna be two inches thick. So now we need to rip this one by two down to get it to the right height. This is gonna be the inside framing. So we're gonna measure the length and cut it the same length as those over there. And then you're gonna rip them to this size. So this is the first piece here, I'm going to staple this piece. Okay, so this is front plate and then the ribs here to support the inside. Now this piece is gonna go over like this to create the shelf, like that. And this gap here, I'm gonna show you what this is for in a little bit. Alright, so you're gonna see what this gap is for. So now we're gonna install this piece like this on the wall. That's the support the shelf. Like this, all right. Okay, so that's finished here. This one and this one. So now, this piece here, that's why it's designed like this, so it's gonna go in here. That's the support. All right, that's the support. So let's do this one first. Okay, so that's one right there. This is the second one. Okay, that's it. 
And then we're gonna measure for this crown, this, this front molding here. I'm gonna take a measurement. Alright, so. So this is the molding here. Alright, so now we're gonna put on this front molding. The finish. The finish. Okay. Alright, so that's it. And now we're gonna silicone, fill up all these nails, and paint white. Alright. And there's gonna be three here. One more and three on this side. So, I'm gonna show you how everything looks when it's finished. All right, so we finished building the shelves. You can see here, six of them. So before we install them, we have to finish it, paint, uh, silicone, fill up all the the pinholes and the staples and we finish installing the supports for each shelf right three on this side three on this side and we have to paint this back wall an accent color so we're gonna paint that first this side and this side over there and then install the shelves so Alright, so I'm about to paint this back wall here, an accent color, a little bit darker than whatever is on here right now. So I already have my paint over here. So this. Alright, so let me get started for painting. All right, finished painting this side. I'm gonna let that dry now. Start filling filling in all the nail heads. What okay. I'm gonna use. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna do that with all of them and then we're gonna sand them one more time to finish and then paint. Mm -hmm. Alright, so this has been drying for like about two hours, so now I'm gonna give it a quick sand and then fry it. Sanding all of them. Yeah. All right. So now I'm gonna prime them and then paint white. Right. All right. So I'm priming it now. Right now. Clean it up nice, and I use Kills primer over here, and I'm gonna prime it.
It's finished raining. I'm gonna let that dry and then paint it with white paint. All right, so before I paint it with the salmon glass paint, I have my salmon glass here. This is already dry, the primer. I have to sand it down to make it smooth. Now this, sanding block. Those are already finished over there, so I have this one, and then I'm gonna start painting them with this salmon glass paint. So let's get started. Alright, so I'm using a sponge roller to roll the paint. No, Alright, so this one is finished. So now I have five more. Three here, two here. So I'm gonna finish those and leave them to dry. Alright. Alright, so I'm finished painting all six of them. I'm gonna let them dry now. And then install them over there. Alright, so we're about to install the shelves. Make sure you number each one so you know where each one goes. So one side finish. Gonna do the next side now. Finish with the insulation. I'm gonna put some staples in it to keep it in place, and that's finished. So that's how it looks. 
All right, so we're gonna staple it now. on this crack right here and then paint one more time and then that's it finish all right so we got the shelves installed so now i'm going to start working on the stone so this is the stone right here Yeah, this is a stone so you want to make sure you open a few boxes and take one from each box as you go don't take from the same box so that way the pattern doesn't um the colors you can mix the colors up like that all right and also you want to make sure you have the right thin set so i'm using versa bond and make sure it's rated for stone so as you can see here this one is rated for stone and the size 15 inches plus. So make sure your tin set is rated for stone. So that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. And I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be using to cutting the tile. So I'm using a wet saw with a stone blade on it right there. So this is my Chicago electric wet saw. So that's what I'm gonna be using to cut the tiles in a 45 degrees, right? So they're gonna be nice like this. So uh, let's get started installing the stone now. All right, so this is my first piece of tile I'm gonna install here. And I have to 45 it, so this is, that is the angle I have to cut. So this little piece here, I'm gonna go right here. And then this piece, the next, so I'm gonna wrap it around with the same piece so that it looks symmetrical and nice. So this same piece of tile I'm gonna wrap all the way around here. So that's important. You always want to do that when you're doing stack stone. Wrap it around the corners. So let's go cut this. For the next angle here, so I have to cut this piece out. All right, so you can see right there that is my first piece. To wrap around here. All right, so I have my tin set mixer. All right. So I'm gonna install this side here now. I'm using a half inch trowel. See half inch. So I need to put a lot on there. Right?
Sex Flip. There's a little piece here. It needs to be easy. You don't have to be careful. You can't put this in here. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.
on this side and install them. So finish there. Now I have to level this cross here, put my laser and make sure this piece is level going up. Alright, so that's next. Alright, so I have this corner piece. I'm gonna install this one right here. Alright, so now the next side. Alright, so finish this side here, on this side, now I install this ledger board here to support the tile, the stone I'm gonna put over here, so that it doesn't drop down. And this is my line, my laser line from this point to the point over there, so it's level, so make sure this side, this section is level going up, alright, so now you measure from here here and you cut pieces to go in here and then you start stacking them up going up so that's what I'm gonna do right now all right so I have my stone cut here already so now this is one piece two pieces three pieces here so now I'm gonna install these. Piece here. That fits nicely. So this is the ledger board here, you know, holding up this row of tile. So now I'm just gonna continue going up and then I'm gonna show you guys when I get to the TV stand how I'm gonna do this piece here to put the TV mount in. And also I'm gonna tile around this outlet. Not underneath it just around it all right so i'm gonna put on a few more rows now all right so i have this row here i already 45 this side so i'm gonna start installing them Alright, so I already have this cut around the shelves, so I'm installing it around the shelves, alright? So this piece is gonna go like this, another piece is gonna come here. So let's put on this piece now. So 
finish that side there. So now I'm gonna install this over here. And then this is the TV mount gonna go on top like this. Right. So that this wood is to give it the space to come out so that it's not all the way in. Alright, so you need to put this wood over there. Alright, so I'm using two and a half inch screws there. This is for a TV mount. This is a TV mount right here. So it's gonna go like this, right? So that way it comes out level and it's not in if you put it like this, right? So this is better. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna tile around this. Over here, over here. So it's looking pretty good. So that's about halfway. So now I'm gonna do the upper part. Yeah. And I'm gonna cut around this and leave this as is, right? So yeah. So that piece is complete so I'm leaving this like this I'm gonna tile around it all right and um, wrapping around there around the shelf all right so now I'm gonna work on this side over here all right so I finish around this TV mount area so now what you want to do is put a laser level or a regular level from here to over here and make sure that everything is level before you continue going up because you might have to raise this up a little bit to get it level all right so you want to do that right now so i'm going to use my laser right here so let's see all right so the middle needs to go up a little bit Alright, so pretty much got it on the level line. Now I can continue going up. Alright, so I just finished the upper part right there. All around the shelves complete and the top piece I just had to trim out a quarter inch on the top and it fits nicely this whole side here so now so this piece I have to wait until the quartz this counter goes on before I can finish it so this side and also this side so when the, when the quartz go over here then I'm gonna finish this piece 
but the rest of the fireplace is complete. And this is gonna get painted white and then when everything dries I'm gonna seal it with a stone sealer. I'm gonna show you how to do that also. All right. All right guys, so I'll finish painting the shelves. Two coats of semi-gloss paint. Looks pretty nice. This side and then this side. So the next step, I'm gonna be sealing the stone tomorrow with this sealer. Stone sealer, and I go on the stone. All right, looking pretty good. All right, so I'm about to apply the sealer to the stone. As you can see here, I protect all my shelf with plastic and the floor, and I have some rubber gloves on to protect my hands. All right, so this is the sealer here. I'm going to use a paintbrush and this little cup to apply it. Alright, so you want to paint it on just like you're painting. Like this. All right, so I'm finished with the sealer. I'm gonna let that dry for 24 hours. And then next step is to install the TV and the fireplace. Alright guys, so today we're going to be installing the TV, we got a 70 inch TV here, so we're going to work on that, I have the brackets here, so this bracket is going to go over here like this, I'm going to anchor this down and then install the other part on the TV, these here, I'm going to go on the back of the TV. So first we're gonna work on this section here. So let's get started. Alright, so I'm gonna drill four holes here now. So these are the bolts. Okay. So they come with a washer. Alright, so these are four bullets. It is level. This part is four bolts complete. Now we're gonna work on the TV. I'm gonna remove the TV from the package.
All right, so I have the brackets here. Make sure you turn them the right way. Have to go, right? These little knobs have to be on the outside. And these little hooks here have to be on the bottom. So you can pull, as you can see here, pulling motion, this hook's on top. So make sure you get it right. So this is gonna go like this. All right, so I have the mount on the TV now. So now it's time to install it over there. So the TV is installed now. Next step is the fireplace. All right, so we're about to install the fireplace. These are the anchor points. So we're gonna install it over there and then screw it up. All right, so the fireplace is installed there. All right, guys, so we finished the uh, fireplace installation with the shelves, the TV, and the fireplace over there. The cabinet, the countertop, six shelves on both sides. So it came out really nice. We got the stack stone, we got the shelf, the wooden shelf, the fireplace, 70 inch TV with the crown molding on top of it. Alright guys, so that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching, hope you like it. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.